Well, hey guys, and welcome back to LA Noir. We are going in our first episode on the arson desk after our last demotion. Things aren't going well for Cole, and I just, ugh, I'm so disappointed. But looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in this one. I do hope that things get better for him. So let's go and check out this next case. Wish me luck. The gas man. <laughs> the gas man. Cool. I like this. Insta heat, our old friend. What's he doing? Hang on, why is he performing maintenance at night time? Not sure what the go is with that. I think he's either sabotaging that uh, gas unit or not too not too sure. Cole. Okay, everyone. Cole. Keep it down. Cole Phelps joins the arson squad today. <laughs> How'd you like porking that German whore, Phelps? <laughs> Phelps is up before a review board in December. Until then. He works the arson desk. End of story. Mm. Phelps. Yes, sir. I don't care what you did or didn't do, Phelps. I hear you're a good case man. The best. But if you fuck up on my detail, I'll have you out of here before your feet touch the ground. Do we have an understanding? Yes, sir. Cap, we don't want a fucking rat like Phelps. Can it, Tilden? Whoa. Phelps, I'm partnering you with Herschel Biggs. I don't do partners. You know that, Cap. <laughs> you do now, Biggs. <laughs> Social basket awesome. cases like you two should get along just fine. Nice. Biggs will show you the ropes, Phelps. This is arson. There are no ropes. <laughs> it shouldn't take long then. Oh, no. Start with these two. House fires. 326 South Kenmore Avenue. Stefan's family was out of town when it happened. Okay. Then go to 4414 Rosewood, family by the name of Sawyer. Fire brigade will be on location. Are they suspicious, Captain? That's for you to find out, <laughs> Detective. <laughs> okay, Get out cool. of here. Both of you. Awesome. Get out. Okay, I'm going. Oh, jeez. Nice to meet you, too. You have your assignment, Detective. Get on with it. Uh, hey, buddy. You are my new partner, Herschel Biggs. Mr. Biggs. I was door knocking all morning, but I got a Are we friends yet? He doesn't like me. Are we going to the Mocambo this Friday? He doesn't like me. You yeah, said nothing at all. You know you've got it made if you can get to that desk. This is not good. I think his Hello? name is Phelps. He brought in the case for that poor lady killed near City Hall. Mm. I feel so so sad for Cole. You're a real asshole, you know that? You know what? I'm going to put him in a different outfit. One of... You know what? This one is actually... This one actually suits him. The outsider. Don't believe everything you read in the papers. Golden boy. Nope, that's not him right now. I'm going to keep him in that because that is a very, very suitable, sadly. Herschel, you've not said a damn thing to me at all. What now? Kem said the first place was on Kenmore. Let's go. Ooh, you know I like his voice. I like his voice. It's, it's nice and gravelly. I, I like it. So we're going to the Stefan's house fire. Well, you can drive then, sir. You can drive. <laughs> Gotta get used to that. How long have you been working arson? We gonna do the small talk thing now? Talk baseball, exchange addresses? I don't think so. Feeling down, hot chef? Need a buddy? Or look somewhere else. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Biggs. Oh, no. This is like rusty all over again. Rusty didn't like us at the beginning, but I grew to love Rusty, so I hope that's the same with Mr. Biggs. The Stephens House Fire, 9.05 a.m. Beautiful fire truck, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Damn, it's 
just been leveled. That is so sad. Uh, to lose everything. To lose everything. There isn't much left. Devastating. There never is if the job's done properly. You think it was deliberate? Nah. Mm. That's real pain in her face. Mm. They would have moved out the things they care about if this was insurance. Mm, 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 There's mm. no mileage in this. Hello, Mike. Hey, Hirsch. Cap this one. Yeah. Mike Brannigan, Cole Phelps. It's okay, Brannigan. His name may be dog shit, but there's none in his hand. No offense, Phelps. Thank you. None taken. Do you have anything? The fire started late last night. Stepan's family at Catalina Island. Won some kind of competition. Looks like the only thing they ever won in their lives. They come home with us. I'd say they were pretty lucky, really. They don't have any insurance. Everything they own, including oh, the house, is not a pile of no. rubble. Where are they sleeping? In the car. It's lucky the whole block didn't burn down. Wow. Where it is, they're bulldozing this whole neighborhood to build new homes for GIs. Oh. That's the man in the house. In the ruins. Terry Lady is his wife. Well, take a look around. Come on, Phelps. You know what? I gotta say that I didn't think too much of Herschel to begin with, but he sure stuck up for Cole in that scene, and I love him for it. Thank you. How dare you? No offense, Phelps, but it won't do anything for my career, wasting time with a dirty cop. How dare you? Is this guy the same? Hope you know what you're looking for. That's just terrible. Just terrible. Look, I, I know that Cole has done the wrong thing. He's done the wrong thing, and it's sad. I'm very sad for him. I'm sad for the loss of his family, his wife, his children, his home life. But I also have to say that I would hope that, oh gosh, guys, look, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, but I still like Cole and I want to see a good outcome for him. And I just hope that everybody isn't going to be just so negative towards him. It, it will honestly break my heart. It'll break my heart. Now this is so sad. I don't think that um, the house owners deliberately lit the fire. But I think it is suspicious. I think that someone has done this for some reason. But I don't know what. Oh, that's the... Oh! Recently serviced. Could be something to go on. The 19th the of September. 19th of September, Matthew Ryan. So he serviced it the last three times. The last three years. Okay. We did see that at the beginning. The guy was... <gasps> Hang on. The guy that was servicing it, he did it at night time when these people weren't home. I reckon he's done something wrong. On purpose, you know? How much more we can do here, detective? I reckon he's done something wrong on purpose. But why? Wow, that's just been full on I melted. So. That is so, so sad. So sad. I couldn't imagine her pain. At, at, at losing all this. Not the husband and wife. It's terribly sad. This doesn't Terrible. pertain to the case. No, no, no. I don't think I'll find any much evidence on the inside, honestly. Isn't that the cop who caught the guy that was pretending to be dead? Alright, well, let's go and talk to the poor owners. Mr. Stevens? Cole Phelps and Herschel Biggs, LAPD. I know it's a difficult time, but could we have a word? Don Stevens. You were out of town. We won a prize. We had a wonderful time. Came home to this. Mm. Do you still have the tickets? Sure. Okay. 
So that's the tickets that he wants. It's a formality, oh, but travel. we'll need to speak to the issuing agent. Okay. Traveling to Catalina Island. Okay. So my initial thought is that the guy who serviced the gas thing knew about this. All right. This poor fellow. Can you tell me any more about the prize that you won, Mr. Stephens? A weekend at Catalina Island. My uh, wife got this flyer in the mail from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Okay, I believe that. Why would he be lying? It's true. Did you enter any kind of competition? Uh, my wife filled in a flyer. Hmm. This lady just rung up and told us we won. It's the first time I ever won anything. I wonder if it's a phony competition. I wonder if it's phony. The redevelopment fund. Did they offer to buy you out? They're building new houses. Mm. They showed their money and most of the neighborhood just packed up and walked away. But I never bargained with oh. them. Oh. I see. Well, that's beginning to make a little bit of sense now. Uh, these guys didn't want to sell, but the redevelopment fund bought out most of the people in this area, but these guys didn't want to. So I'm wondering if they set it on fire deliberately to get rid of them. GI houses? Yeah, something like that. Oh, I got that That's wrong. All we need for the moment, Mr. Stephens. All right. Okay. I thought he was telling the truth. I should have doubted, I guess. Once with him. You've seen the papers. I guess he's thinking about his own family. Mm -hmm. I'd say he's searching for some kind of atonement right now. Thank you for understanding, Herschel. So what next? All right. Make the call and see if these suburban assholes have an address. <laughs> um, do I not? Can I not talk to the wife? Where's ah? Uh, the wife's that gone. I wanted to question. Like the coffee point of the gun at I wanted to question the wife, but I guess we only speak to the Isn't husband the in this. All right, so let's go and use the phone up here. Hmm. Yeah, you can see that they are tearing all these houses down to make room for the new development. Okay. And these guys didn't want to sell, so what better way to move them on? Cole Phelps, batch twelve forty-seven. I need information on the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. The fund is a semi-government agency established to speed up the building of GI homes. Mm -hmm. It has private investors as well as a government endowment. Okay, private huh. investors. You have an address for them. There is one listed here, corner of Beverly and Mariposa. Thank you. Okay, so that is possibly where we need to go next. What about the other house, though? Help me out. We can hit the travel agent or try this suburban lead. Which one? <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't know. Maybe we could go to the suburban redevelopment. I, I like Herschel. He stuck up for me. I'm can you happy. drive to this one? He stuck up for me. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. We're in a bad spot right now. So it's very nice to have someone at least sticking up for us, even when he doesn't want a partner. I appreciate that, dude. This is supposed to be the registered offices of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. This is an Elysian housing development, Mac. So Elysian is an investor in the Redevelopment Fund. Looks that way. Are we done here, Mac? I've got work to do. Sure, buddy. Okay. Thanks for your help. Elysian are investors in the Suburban Redevelopment. So what? 
If you think I'm putting my pension on the line and harassing Leland Monroe without evidence, you're <laughs> out of your mind. I did notice those sale signs on the houses back there did have a lesion underneath them. So it's making sense. <laughs> Just walking around. Okay. Okay, so I guess we're not... We're not talking to these guys then. Okay, well that was a waste of time. <laughs> so let's go to the travel agency. I think we'll be back here soon. Because that was just you know a waste way. of time. Gulliver's Travel Agency. Alright. What have we got here? That's actually a really cool window display. Isn't that awesome? That's fancy. I like that. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. John Cunningham, can I help you, gentlemen? What can you tell us about the travel tickets that you issued to the Steffens family? Steffens, uh, let me see, family of five, I think. Three kids. Uh, trip Sweet. by flying boat to Catalina Island. Tickets were issued last week and redeemed this weekend. All right, family of five. So that's them there, Steffens. Let me just look. Flying boat. Tickets on hold, collected on hold. There's a lot of people that go to this by flying boat. Here they are, Stephens. Am I meant to be looking for other people? Who's the other name in my book? I can't remember. The Sawyer family, Rosewood Avenue. Oh, cancelled. So they've been cancelled. So the other... <clears throat> if I needed a mannequin for the store window, I'd buy one. How about <laughs> running along now? I'm just thinking the other family's tickets got cancelled, but the arson still took place. Maybe it wasn't told. Maybe the arsonist wasn't told that they got their tickets cancelled. Tell us about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. There's not much to tell. They run a promotion. Our promotions mailing list covers half of LA. Okay. Um, sure, I believe you. I believe this guy. So they are not a government agency? <laughs> I don't believe so. Government organizations don't usually get involved in promotions. Yes, that is very, very true. I don't think this guy, I don't think he knows about it. I don't think he's behind anything. I'm told the tickets were a prize. Yes, they were. You do a lot of these prizes. Look, there are hundreds of these promotions running at any one time. If you're the lucky guy, you get your name pulled out of a hat. And... Nope. It's not as simple as that. Something's going on. You're looking a little bit shoddy. I think he's looking a bit shoddy there. He's just looking slightly different. I don't really have anything in my note book. Okay, down. While the Stephens family was at Catalina Island, their house burnt down. You consider them lucky? Christ. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you tell me who offered the prize they won? Sure. Look, there's supposed to be some sort of supervised draw with hundreds of tickets. Mm. But the reality is the Suburban Redevelopment Fund calls me every couple of weeks and tells me exactly who has won. Yes, exactly. Thanks for your help. Uh, no problem. Exactly. I wish I could do something for that family. You could put round the hat. A few bucks would really help them now. I suppose so. Good. I'll put you down for 50. <laughs> I could tell you were Samaritan the minute I walked in the 50? door. Oh, Are you good 50. man, Cunningham? You're all right. Yeah, I'm great. Nice. Poorer, but great. Oh, I love it. Good on you, Mr. Biggs. You're so cool. I'm stumped. Ideas? 
We've got two fires on the board, remember? Mm. Next is the Sawyer place on Rosewood. You know what? I'm beginning to think if the Sawyer place, if they, if the suburban redevelopment people wanted to buy them out too, but they didn't want to sell. You're behind the wheel. Would Have there been any other lot. house fires? This is arson. We get an average of two a night. Wow. Does that answer your question? That's a lot, but not too many like this. So these guys were home, were they? Is that what I remember correctly? Hi, Albert. We've got this case. Hey, Biggs. We? You have a partner? <laughs> what gives? This is Cole Phelps. You may have read about him. Oh. Mm. Now I get it. Mm. Hello, Phelps. Welcome to the netherworld of ours. Family of four found dead in their oh, beds. Meter explosion. Oh Another one. God. Looks that way. Insta Heat Model 70. Before you get excited, we get a couple of water heaters a month go back. Take a look around the yard and see what you can find. Gosh. So n there were no survivors. That is terrible. I'm guessing Matthew Ryan's name is on the water heater too. Can we move it along, boys? I've got a huge backlog of reports that I need to file. I'm at a loss. Four people died here, Phelps. We owe it to him to find something. Yes. Val! You gonna stick it out, Cole? I'm gonna try, Mal. What have you got? Family by the name of Sawyer. Mother, father, and two kids. All in bed from the looks of it. Oh, I'd say carbon monoxide poisoning. The burns are superficial. Time of death. I'd say about midnight. Anything more exact will take some time to determine. Lynch tells me this has something to do with a faulty water heater. Could be. There's been a spate of problems with a particular brand. I've got another angle in mind. You care to elucidate, Detective? This is a murder and not an accident. Sharing information has helped us solve quite a few cases together. I need something concrete now before the department gets wind of it. I'm in arson for a reason. Mm. Yes, I feel honey. sorry for your wife and kids, Phelps, not for you. But you're a good case, man. One of the best I've ever met. I'll help in any way I can. Thanks, Mal. I'd say that's firm but fair. Yeah, me too. Guys, the this is I don't want to have to look at the bodies of the people, the children. I don't want to have to look at that. I really don't want to have to investigate that. They had a dog too. Come on. Okay, so where's this water heater? Well, it's not around the outside of the house. I wouldn't have expected it to be on the inside. I'm not really finding what I want. There's not much here. I need to find that water heater. Wherever it could be. I'm going to have another look around the house. It should be on the outside somewhere. This is weird because it's just not here. I would have expected that. Follow up on your theory and get back to me. I'll help. Now I need to help these people. Yes, I know. What's that? Regulator hey, valve. Is this significant? Where's Regulator the valve. The rest of it. Good find. Detectives, this is the next door neighbor. Detective Phelps, can you help? They were supposed to be going away. Mm. They won a trip somewhere. Mm. But little Henry got sick, so they had to cancel. What are the chances? Yeah. Do you know who ran the competition? Gulliver's Travel, mm. up on Santa Monica Boulevard. Thanks. You've been a big help. Yeah. 
Another Tell one. Us, the guy across the street. I've seen him before. He likes fire. He likes fires? There he is. Hurry, you yeah. can still catch him. Oh no. Well, I didn't get to um look at the bodies there, which is probably a good thing because I don't know if I want to deal with anything like that. Hey, what's Stop! You... LAPD! <laughs> I got an idea oh. on you, firebug. Stop right there. I don't think this is the guy that lit the fire. He just likes fires. He's just a weirdo that likes fires. Well, I didn't get to look at the bodies. What's your name? Herbert Chapman. So you like fires. <laughs> Some. I like fires. Them, we're setting them. I don't want any trouble. Turn out your pockets. Hmm, I wonder if he's collected something from the fire, like a burnt thing. You're oh. naughty boy, aren't you, Herbert? A naughty boy. I keep boy. myself to myself. Oh my Cigarette in a it. matchbox gives you a five or six minute delay. You want more time, you use a mosquito coil. Don't you, Herbert? Oh, you what? You like this fire, Herbert? That was it. Oh, no. I heard it over the fire radio. Sounded sweet. That was an when ignition you finish following device. Your leads, come and oh see my me at the gosh. Fire station. I have a theory about this. Will do, Lynch. Take huh. this guy in. We might want him for questioning later. You got it, Detective. He didn't. It's not Why him. You got such a hard on for this case. If it is murder, it's almost impossible to prove. Fire doesn't leave much evidence. There's no percentage in this. I think it's more than one case. Their house fire is cold. Accidents, heater fires, gas explosions. There's got to be a reason. The reason is you want to be a star again. Forget it. Give it up. You'll feel better. There's something to this. I know it. What are you talking about? Arson is insurance. It's always been insurance. We still investigate the cases, Biggs. Mm. The people in this house are dead. Go soak your head, Phelps. This hero business is a full-time obsession with you. I'm going to make this case. I'm going to rub the department's nose in it. Help me. Or stay out of my way. You got it? Lynch says we should visit him at Fire Station 32. Wow. Who exactly is this guy, Lynch? Lynch is a legend. You should feel privileged. He doesn't let many people into the inner sanctum. Keep your mouth shut and you'll learn something about fires. Um, because we haven't left yet, look, I don't want to miss anything. Please tell me what's going on. I don't want to look at these bodies but I think we have to how about the insurance companies write these incidents up as acts of God that's so sad didn't like it didn't like it I'm just gonna check if we've got everything here in this yes we have okay so now we are off to fire station number 32 what now? Lynch wanted you at the station. You don't want to keep him waiting. Yep, okay, well that's where we're going. Um, I have to say that I disagree with Mr. Biggs here. I do not think in one way that Cole is just wanting more fame or recognition for this. He's a great detective. He knows when something's up when he sees it and we'll something something is up Swear. here. This town is going straight Hang on. To hell. Let me have a look here. Building a better California. Elysian Fields. That's that suburban redevelopment place. And we can see here so stupid, that that really is an empty lot. This is the house that burnt down. This house down here, is it for sale? The women for sale. don't find you handsome. They should at least find you handy. For sale. For sale. So they're wanting to take all of these houses then. Makes sense to me. So that's what they've done. I knew it wasn't safe around here anymore. I was married by a judge. Should have asked for a jury. All right, this makes a lot of sense. Okay, so it's definitely the suburban redevelopment company is completely dodgy. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. And I do hope that Cole does rub, his, does rub everyone's nose in it because he's onto something here. He's definitely not after fame or recognition. He just wants, he, he just wants 
to not have everyone despise him and look down on him. Because this is breaking my heart, man. I feel sorry for the wife and kids too. I agree with Mal, but one call to be happy. We came as soon as we could. I was walking down the street and that heel sent me flying. Lynch. Biggs, you two investigating the house fire on Kenmore Avenue as well? Yep. Why? I had to look around the place while I was out there. Mm -hmm. Do you believe the fire? I deal in facts, Phelps. Evidence of an explosion. Mm. No obvious sign of accelerants. Wiring looks intact. Come and take a look at this. Oh, that's why I couldn't find the water heater. Is the heater from the Sawyer fire out? Oh. Yes, it is. Huh. Looks like it was recently serviced. It was, but by a different name. I have a theory, and it's a theory only. I don't have enough evidence to prove... Well, if you say it's so, we're listening. Okay, Phelps. You're a bright penny. You have a gas supply. You have a Bunsen burner as a pilot light. You have a regulator valve, and the balloon represents the gas expanding in the room. Now, the gas has to make contact with the mosquito coil to form an explosion. Let's see if you can work out the chain of events. Oh, cool. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm not going to know this. I, I, I will not get this right, guys. I already know it. Good, your regulator's in position. Oh, well, cool, thanks. I had no idea. Let's put that there. The gas bubble needs to be next to the coil if it's going to ignite. Oh, I see. All right. Well, let's put that on the left. And let's put that there. I wouldn't have a clue. Is that not right? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think the balloon thing goes on the right hand side. All right. All right. Come on, Phelps. Yes. You need to get the arrangement right before we can reproduce the results. Yes, all right. I'm getting there. I'll put the balloon next to the coil. It's just that when I put it there in the first place, someone said, oh, it needs to be blah, blah, blah. I thought that was wrong. Okay, I'll light your pilot and turn the gas. You pull the lever on the left to turn on the gas. Yeah, we've already tried that and failed. Whew. So that's how it's being done. Maybe. There could be a fault with these valves. I've adjusted this one for our experiment, but you need to take mm. it to InstaHeat and see what they say. Their headquarters is on North Harvard Boulevard, number 262. Thanks, Albert. You're mm -hmm. welcome, Biggs. See you at the next show. Wonderful. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for your help. This is a cool fire station. Sam's taking me out to Palm Springs for the weekend. Can't talk to him. Follow the evidence, son. That's all any of us can do. Yes, I'm trying. I am trying. So we are off to InstaHeat now. What I am thinking is that we will show them the the valve thing that we got, and it's been it 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 seems like it was tampered with in the very very. Can you drive to this one? Beginning. Show? Like turned upside down or something. The next fire. We should go to the factory and see how many of these things are going bang in the night. Mm. You know this Chapman character? Guy's a freak. He loves fires. <laughs> He's the kind of guy that we'd like for a lot of things, but we don't really have any credible evidence to pursue him with. Okay. I don't think that Chapman guy is anything. He just likes fires. Who doesn't like a, a fire that is not hurting anybody? You know, a campfire or a little bonfire or something. They're lovely. Doesn't mean I go around <laughs> lighting up people's houses. Oh, the Insta Heat Factory. This is so cool. 
Nice. He's dull as dishwater. But what I'm do you think? For the conversation. Talk to the guy in charge. See what he says. Yes. I know that face. That's the guy who busted all those Negro drug pushers last week, isn't it? Yes, it is. Thank you for not hating on me. What on earth is that man doing? <laughs> what are they talking about? Us? New and improved oh. model. They'll be selling these like hotcakes. Yeah, for sure. Especially if they don't light up people's houses. Ooh. Uh, generally speaking, you aren't Hang on. learning I don't want to... I don't want to look around first before God, I'm meant to. I think we need to talk to the receptionist. LAPD detectives, ma'am. We need to speak to someone in charge. I see. Well, duty manager for today is Mr. Rasick. You should find him in his office. Okay, well, Only thank you. Two. Ketchup and a root beer? Ivan Rasick. Is he in here? I'm going to make him take me to the pictures tonight. Who are you? Are you liquored up? Are you drunk, Mister? Or are you just cracked? What? What's your problem? You think talk is cheap? Try hiring a lawyer. What? What was Look, that? That's me at my job, typing. <laughs> All right. So there's nobody, nobody in here then. Unless you're dictating a letter, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> All right. Well, it's not in that room. See him? Like Saw his picture in the paper. Worked that case with a lady cut up like the Dahlia. Staff only. Oh, manager, manager. There uh, we go. General. Here we go. Finally Detective found him. Detective Felton Biggs, arson. We're investigating a couple of house fires. What can you tell us about this? Pressure regulator from a Model 70. Yeah. Let me take a look. We have a problem. Mm. This has been tampered with. What? You see this diaphragm? It forms a seal across the saddle here. Gas flows across from here to here. The diaphragm regulates flow. It's been reversed. Mm. It's a subtle change, but it means the gas never closes off properly. Yep. Absolutely. He is not someone that is going to lie to us. He doesn't know anything about this. We're just getting info from this guy. So you're telling me that this is not a manufacturing fault or service repair? I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the design. Yeah. I believe him. How many guys would know how to make that change? <laughs> All you need is a screwdriver and a wrench. Anybody could pull it apart and put it back. Oh, okay. I got that wrong? What the hell? Should I have doubted him? Okay, well, whatever. I thought it was legit. Uh, we could do this some other time if you're not feeling well. <laughs> oh, no, I've just done so terribly already. Are these diaphragms prone to failure? They uh, tend to go after a while. The rubber lasts quite a few years and then it perishes. Hmm. Okay. So the guys' names that I've been seeing doing the repairs on the heaters, they're fully licensed and accredited. Sure, of course they are. Oh, oh they are not mister. You employ accredited mechanics to do this. We call them installers. Uh, technically, they're gas fitters. Installers, then. They know what they're doing, detective, if that's what you're trying to imply. I got that wrong, too. I want you to get me a copy of the list of your installers. <sighs> okay, I'll get it for you. It was right there. There, around a dozen of them. Oh, there's so Housing many. Housing business is going crazy at the moment. God damn this is a long shot. We are not going to rouse that whole list. <laughs> I can see Matthew Ryan on there. I want to run it by R&I, cross-reference for arsonists. See if any of these guys have any previous. Sir, I need to use your phone. Go right ahead. All right. I can see Matthew Ryan there. And um, who's the other guy that we had? I don't know why I got everything so wrong with that fellow. Varley. Okay. Reginald Varley. Gas fitters. Unfortunately, I cannot look at that again. 
I would like to. All right, where's your phone? There it is. Reginald Varley, Matthew Ryan. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. I need to know if any of the following names have a previous criminal history. Okay, detective, run the names. Acevedo Ernesto, Clemens Walter, Elgram John, Gable Leroy, Kellegrew Peter, Cutner Robert, Limehouse Albert, Manning Franklin, Neves Raymond, O'Brien Thomas, Ryan Matthew, Spurgeon William, Barley Reginald, Zurich Stephen. Clemens Walter, previous conviction for arson and malicious damage. Mm. Burned down a house in Westwood in 1942. Wow. Four year jail term. Huh. Thanks. Ryan Matthew, charged for contempt of court, attempted murder, wow. plea bargain down to assault charge. Anyone else? There is a Reginald Varley wanted for murder by Detroit Police Department. Thanks. You've been a big help, young lady. Young lady? I always assumed that lady was old as Ooh, anything. I she sounds very the old. The roster is quite the rogues gallery, Mr. It is. Basic. <laughs> Desperate times indeed. <laughs> That's so funny. Do you have an address for Clemens? He's uh, working on an apartment building on uh, Catalina and 3rd. What about Ryan? Currently working at a housing development on Normandy and 1st Street. Varley, where is he? Beverly and Mariposa, currently working on a new housing development. Hey, Varley's a good guy. You can't harass all my people. <laughs> These guys have lockers. Yes, they do. Ooh. But my men have a right to some privacy. Don't you need a warrant or something? Show him and keep quiet. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, all of his his guys seem here. Very dodgy. Happy now. Yes, I am. Stick around, Mr. Rasick. Go away. I can't see. Oh, Walter Clemens. 1947, not 1927. Of course, a girl can ask a fella out. Clemens is a fellow traveler. Hmm. All right, I don't think it's, I don't have a feeling that it's Clemens. I don't know, I don't know. Oh, he's got lots of this stuff here. Huh. Some light reading on the merciless capitalist machine. <laughs> All right. Ryan wants the world to be a better place, don't we all? <laughs> hmm, interesting. That's just regular work Optimistic stuff. Optimistic call. Yeah, that's nothing. That's nothing. All right, cool. And the last guy, Reginald Varley. Oh, mosquito coils. A company went through thousands of these in the war. Still got eaten alive. It reminds me of what we saw though in the fire station. Varley has a problem with bugs. No, I don't think so. Hmm, I've got my money pinned on Varley, I think. Either Varley or you Matthew Ryan. You know that a Ryan. mosquito coil takes an hour to burn down, Rasik? No, I didn't know that. It's the favorite choice of ignition by arsonists. Gives them time to get away. You're crazy. He probably lives near the canals in Venice. <laughs> Mind if I leave you to it? I got work waiting. Sure. Three birds. Clemens, Ryan, Varley. <laughs> Where to, Phelps? Oh, so I have to make the choice. Okay. I'm just leaning towards Varley, I guess. That to me seems maybe. Uh, generally speaking, Oops. you aren't Wrong. learning much when your mouth is. It seems a little bit more promising. Okay, we're just going into a cutscene. We're not uh, driving away. That is strange. What is this? That's our fellow there, isn't it? Hmm. What are you doing, mister? Hmm, 
that's going to be another house. You can drive. Maybe it's none of these guys at all. He may just be tampering with the... Farley's on the run. He might be packing heat. He's wanted for murder. I say we take the doubt out of the equation and let him have it. <laughs> you nervous? It's been a while. You were in combat. In 1917. You know, I never fired my weapon in the line of duty. That's nothing to be ashamed of. I hope your piece is still serviceable, Herschel. <laughs> I may be old and out of practice, but I'm still a Marine, Phelps. <laughs> it would be better for our case if we could bring him in, Herschel. I like, I like Herschel. I like him. He has such a beautiful, soft-spoken manner. I just really like him. He's better than Roy. Alright, so this is Varley's work site. We are soon to get another report of another LAPD, arson. Varley. Stop or I'll shoot! Oh, here we go. Alright. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, hang on. Damn it! He's run away. Where is this fella? Oh no, I got caught on the turf. Come on! At this distance, no chance. Damn it! <laughs> Son, you're a couple I'm, of shingles short of a full roof. I'm trying to get him in this manner, but I might just have to chase him down, eh? Oh, damn it! <laughs> Herschel, you beat me! You're doing well, old man. You're doing well. Oh, he's. I thought he was on the tractor. <laughs> Man, this guy is so far away. Oh, he's in a car now? Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, please. <laughs> he's escaped. <laughs> okay, I'll try better. I won't, I don't think I'll bother holding my gun on him. Maybe I could. Nope, it's not going to work. I want to do it that way though. I'm really interested in that. Damn, I was so close. with a little more reach. Damn it. Failed again. I'm gonna fail that again. It's gonna get in that car. You know what? I'm gonna take this car. Let me take the car. I can't do it. Oh, bugger. I just really oh, want to. I, I wish I could afford that. I really want to do this. <laughs> Damn it! You must have to hold the. You must have to hold the gun on him. Okay, I'll just keep trying until I get it. I don't think I'm going to try it in this first way. I'm going to wait until. Come on, Barley! You can't keep running forever. Come on. Yes. Stop or I will shoot. That's better. That's better. <laughs> Third time lucky. Why did you run from us, Varley? I'm gonna take a wild guess that you're the same Reginald Varley. The Detroit police have an outstanding warrant on. Mm. How am I doing so far? I need a boy <laughs> before I talk to any of you. Reginald Varley, you're under arrest for committing a series of arsons. You're also under arrest for murder. Detroit PD will be putting in a request for your extradition. Until then, your guest at the city. Arson? You, you can't hang that rap on me. Be quiet. Be thankful we don't shoot you. Are all the cops in this town crazy? <laughs> Take him away, officer. Okay. Now well, we got one of them. Uh, he's not our guy, though. What now? Advice? Next guy on <laughs> the list, Phelps. Come on. 
Okay, well, next guy on the list. Probably this guy, Matthew Ryan. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. I wonder if we have to get all of these guys in custody before the next arson is revealed. Okay, is you gonna run too? Are you Matthew Ryan? Who's asking? Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson squad. Arson? You heard the man. Let's just put this stuff in the car and I'll be right with you. Yeah, you will not. Hold You'll be run. running away. I said there he goes. <laughs> At least this is better than the last one. Those Come are on, GI's backyards and crashing through. The damage is only cosmetic. He's a one-man wrecking ball. Move <laughs> in! I'll take out the van. Whoa. I have hurt people. <laughs> Smash the son of a bitch's rear wheels. I'm trying. He's going to kill those men. They'll get out of the way. Only if they hear him coming. Close <laughs> in, Phelps. We need to take Ryan down before he hurts somebody. I'll go I'm for the tires. That ought to, to slow the son of a bitch down. Lay into his wheel well. Come on. Well, you're not doing anything either. Your gun must be broken. I need to be close to Phelps. He's got an arson-related assault Damn charge it. and he's running. Running don't mean nothing. We got to get this guy in a room before we can get an angle on him. This man has got to be stopped. All right, come on, get into his tires, Mr. Biggs. Enough please. gates, folks. Take this guy out. It's not easy. Jesus, what is he doing? Oh. The tramp! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> he got smashed. There we go. <laughs> we almost got smashed too. Put your hands where I can see them. <laughs> Why did you run, Ryan? I was scared. You got a reason to be scared, Ryan? Matthew Ryan, I'm arresting you on suspicion of committing a series of arsons. Okay, so that's two. We just have our final guy. And then the real guy, right? Okay, let's get to the next one. So this guy is Clemens. That's where we're going. Any ideas? Only one potential firebug left on that list, right? Let's see what he has to say. Yes, sir. Let's go. I love talking to my partners. <laughs> Even if I don't need advice, it's just become so natural just to talk to them for before our next move i just really i like talking to them and it's interesting seeing what they've got to say there he is he's hard at work <laughs> Biggs, lapd we want some answers and we want them quick okay okay what's this all about just tell me what you want nice oh well we can actually talk to someone for a change jeez cool um, knowledge of Bali, knowledge of Ryan. Hmm. What's he gonna say when I'm too slow? To be frank, you look like you haven't got a clue. <laughs> you know Reginald Barley? No. Can't say I do. You're an idiot. You work with him. You work with him, though. It might be this anarchist pamphlet because they belong to Ryan, but we are asking about Varley here. Mm. I'm either thinking lie or doubt. Maybe just doubt. Detroit PD is after Reginald Varley for murder. We want us to run you in for aiding and abetting Clemens. Whoa, 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 whoa. All I know about Varley is he gets kickbacks from some developer. Does their work first. Spreads it around if you can. Hmm. Okay. Makes sense. Well, that's the suburban developer. You're licensed and work for Instaheat? I contract for them. So what? <laughs> You're not licensed, though, are you? <laughs> Instaheat hires arsonists, does it? I've worked as a fitter all my life. Put everything I had into that house. 
and my fucking mud shark of a wife gets awarded in settlement. She's blowing spicks two at a time while I'm at work, and she gets the house. Yeah, I burnt it all right. Set fire to that fucker and watch it burn to the ground. I did my time, and I'd do it again. Sorry about the rouse, Clemens. You did the right thing. Oh, wow. That's interesting. So that, that makes sense why he did that, and he's owned up to it. He he acknowledges what he's done. I have no problem with this guy. Do you know Matthew Ryan? No. Don't know the name. Well, you do. You have his little pamphlet in your locker. Um, I'm going to go lie. You and Ryan are fifth columnists. And how do you figure that, wise guy? What proof do you have? Been following me to meetings? It's the little booklet that you have in there. So, you've got the pamphlet. Um, yeah, it's that. We found a pamphlet in your locker, Clemens. We can add your name to the register. Huack might want to interview you. That shit was from Ryan. He's always pushing that shit on people. Drives me nuts. Well, you know He's him, then. He's for the company. <laughs> All right, Clemens. You're off the hook for the moment. Can I get back to work now? Let's get out of here, Phelps. He ain't our guy. No, he's not. We have three suspects. As much as I'd like it to be, Chapman, I think it's one of the other two guys. Let's get to the station and close this case. I don't think it's one of the other two guys at all. I think it's another guy. See, I don't... I don't think... I don't think Can you drive it's... to this one? Ryan or the other guy at all. I don't think it's Matthew Ryan or the other guy. I think this. I think it's someone else. This is not going to be another like with the homicide thing and the Black Dahlia murders, and we just pin all these things on the wrong people, is it? Please no. All right, here we are at the Wilshire Police Station. What now? Right, this is the first port of call. Okay. I have two suspects. Phelps, you got nothing. Biggs, <sighs> Ryan's waiting for you in interview one. Varley's in two. Hey, Hopkins, wow. you practicing your asshole routine again? Come on, Phelps. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Such a thing as soap, you know. That's a creep. Hang on. Walked out on his wife. Are you talking about me? Am I missing something here? Um, one second, guys. I just want to look at the log. Ryan is an interview one. Well, that's what Big said to go to first. He said to go to this guy first. I gave his wife a tap. I said, all fair and loving. Save yourself some time and get this thing off your chest. <laughs> if that's your opening gambit, you better try again. <laughs> it was pretty poor. <laughs> Um, okay, I got you. So you want to change the world, Ryan? Yes, I do. So does every reasonable person. And you're doing your part? Yes, I am. Does that include sabotaging water heaters to destroy a company? Mm. I have no idea what you're talking about. Mm, mm, mm. That honestly makes sense, you know? Mmm... What could I do here? It, it it is it was serviced. Maybe I could say that, you know. This is industrial sabotage, Ryan. It's all part of your campaign. You're delusional, detective. What campaign? Oh gosh, I don't want to get anything wrong. Sorry, my mistake. <laughs> I think I'll just go down on this one. I'm not confident enough. Last chance, enough. Ryan. You level with me or I'm sending you to the DA. A conviction for sedition and murder will do wonders for his re-election campaign. Nice try. But I got nothing to lose. Hmm. I got that wrong. I should have went lie and went to the... the serviced water heater. You know how to reverse a diaphragm in the regulator valve of a Model 70 heater? No, I don't. <laughs> That's a stupid question, though, Phelps, please. Not many people got this right. What? Maybe I should just go truth on this one. 
Because not many people got this question right. I'm gonna go truth. Seems a pretty basic repair. Those things are sealed units. Damn it, I suck. <laughs> what can you tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nothing. Oh, come on, but you know about it. Please. I think Suburban is a front for your anarchist buddies. They're arranging for people to be out of town while you burn their houses down. Suburban? What's that got to do with me? That's Farley's bilk. He's the one with mm. the cozy agreement with those fascists. Oh, well, thank you for that info. Oh. Really, though? Do we trust this guy? Is it Varley? You have a history of violence. I have no such thing. You do. I'm going to go lie straight away. You're lying, Ryan. And how exactly are you going to prove that? Because I have something on you. Um, This criminal record. You were charged with attempted murder, Ryan. It was a court case. No criminal liability was the verdict. They said that they couldn't have known that the faulty heater installation would cause a fire. All I know is I lost my whole family. And the company that was responsible got away with it. Suburban. What would you do? Or Instate. Which company? Asphastos Water oh. Heater Company. Asphastos. Okay. That's it for the moment, Ryan. So I can go? Sure. As soon as your red friends storm the building and carry out, <laughs> you'll keep your seat until we decide how long to lock you up for, knucklehead. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, you're a um, shingle short of a full roof. I have a feeling that it's not this guy. I think it may be the Varley guy. I think Ryan is our man. Oh! <laughs> but procedure says we eliminate all of the suspects. Let's speak to Varley. Are you serious? <laughs> I don't want no part of it. Captain so if he thinks out, Ryan is our man, but then I thought it was Varley because I think you that whoever this I mean, arsonist you know is, is, is either doing it to work for the suburban de redevelopment place or doing it to make them look bad. All right, let's try this guy, Varley. We have Matthew we Ryan in custody, Varley. I think all we need to do is ask him about this and he'll rat you out. Fuck Ryan, that pinko bastard. Hmm, well, they're not friends. They aren't friends. Have you ever worked on a place on Rosewood Avenue? Family by the name of Sawyer? Maybe. I, I'm from out of town. I go where they send me. I, I, I don't do a lot of repairs, though. I'm flat out on new installations. Uh, don't we have a thing that says, yeah, yeah, you look, 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 the Sawyer family. That's a lie. That's a big fat lie. Why are you lying to me, Varley? If Suburban wants their new installations completed, why are you bothering with Rex like the Sawyer house? So I'm lying just because I can't remember if I was there or not? <laughs> How can you prove that I was? I know. That makes a lot of sense. You can't remember if you were there. I understand. Your name is on the inside door of their water heater. Okay. You got me there. <laughs> Suburban, yeah, they wanted that guy out. Sawyer kept complaining about not being able to get his heater service, so they threw in a free service as a sweetener. I think he played him, though. Because he still wouldn't sell. Mm. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, so... We just need to find out whether or not he sabotaged that water heater. Hey, buddy! Why don't you stand around tomorrow <laughs> while I sneak out that door? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Word is, you're in the pocket of some property developer? <laughs> Never. I got principles. <laughs> <laughs> but um, this guy says that you are, though, Matthew Ryan said. And uh, Walter Clemens, he testifies to being offered kickbacks by Reginald Varley. And Matthew Ryan testifies to Varley conspiring with suburban redevelopment. It's got to be Matthew Ryan's statement. How did suburban put the squeeze on you? Did they find out about your record? There's no way you can link me to suburban. You're wasting your time. He's just going to say that um, Matthew Ryan is lying, though. Ryan says you offered to cut him in on the kickbacks they were offering. He'll testify in court. Suburban 
They got real time pressure on getting some of the big developments finished. There's some big date that they can't mm. afford to miss. So yeah, I took their money, but so did a lot of guys, all right? Carpenters, electricians, plumbers. It's no big conspiracy. Until you reverse the regulator valve thing and cause the fire. What would reversing the diaphragm of an Instaheat Model 70 do? Yeah, I made that mistake before. You get a big bang when you turn the pilot back on. So you didn't deliberately sabotage the water heater at the Sawyer house? No, I did not. You out of your mind? Hmm. I think he's... I honestly think that he did, you know? Not many people got this right. Do I have anything? He does have that mosquito coil. I reckon it's those mosquito coils. I think that... I think he's done it. I think it's this guy. I'm gonna go lie. I don't believe you, Varley. I think Suburban wants homeowners who don't want to sell out of the way. Mm -hmm. I think you're out of your mind. Where is the evidence that I have done anything to contribute to this fire? Huh? <sighs> well, you have these things in your locker, but of course it doesn't actually... It may not mean anything, but I'm pretty sure that this is maybe what it is. Arsonists use cigarettes and mosquito coils as time delay fuses. We found an open box of mosquito coils in your locker. Oh, hang on! Those things, they belong to Ryan, all right? He asked me to hold them because his locker's full of stupid pamphlets. What? Really? I thought he used them for camping. Oh. Oh, uh, I don't know what to do. Who do I... Did they... Oh. Are they really belonging to Ryan? Who do I believe? I don't know. I don't know. We're done for now. So what happens? I don't know. I don't know. You're either going back to Detroit to face a murder rap, or you're staying here to answer for these arsons. I don't know what to do. What do I do? Help me. I'm at a loss. Let's lay a charge at one of these guys and put this to bed. Oh, no. Well, who do I pick? I hate this. Ryan does say that Bali has been conspiring with the redevelopment company, right? And these guys, this guy says that he's offering kickbacks too. He's got the mosquito coils in his locker. Ryan does have the anarchist propaganda. And Bali is wanted for murder. But again, guys, I think this is another thing like the homicide department. I don't think I think that the person that is doing the reversing of the Coroner says it's gonna take the diaphragm on the on the insta heat thing it's neither of these guys i think it's exactly the same as before i really do i don't know who to charge what do we what do i do please tell me i'm stumped ideas he's not helping he did say before that he thought it was ryan you know what hey there's such a thing as soap you know i think it's this guy Speak to my lawyer. Oh. I got nothing more to say. Oh. Well, how do I... So what next? Let's lay a charge at one of these guys and put this to bed. Okay. Well, I can't charge the other guy, so I might have to charge yeah, this guy. To a 45. I want to put him down one round. Charge suspect. Leave interrogation. Why can't I charge the other guy? You know what? Maybe that's a sign. Maybe it's That's not this guy. Because I can't talk to him. I can't talk to him. Let's charge one of these guys and put this to bed. Okay, well, I can't talk to that guy. There's nothing comes up. Can't press square. I guess we are going for the other fellow then. Varley. At this point, I don't think it's either of them. I think that... The real arsonist is still at large. 
So I'm pretty sure that what's going to happen here is that we'll eventually find the real arsonist as is what happened with the homicide murders. I have no choice but to charge this guy because I can't charge the other guy for some reason. Reginald Barley, I'm charging you with committing a series of arsons and for the murders of Hank Sawyer, Edwina Sawyer, Henry Sawyer, and Jessica Sawyer. Mm. I'm no cold-blooded criminal. I could never bring up a whole family in their home. I don't think it's either of them, so... We'll probably just let them off once we find the real murderer, the arsonist. How is it? No, just keep your mouth shut and listen to me for a second. How is it you can bring no less than three suspects into my station, conduct extensive interviews, sift through mountains of evidence with Lynch and Pinker, and still manage to charge the wrong fucking guy? How, how do you know who's the I right guy? I took a chance on you, Phelps. People said I was crazy, and you made me look like a jerk. Wow. You may not be much of an arson investigator, but I hear you're merciless on the beat. Get going. Sorry. I tried. I, I went to charge the other guy, but it didn't work. We're not making friends on our first day. Oh, man, that was bad. And I got a lot of damage, too, from that car chase. Oh, man, two stars. That is my worst one so far. The case against Marley looks dangerously thin for a man facing four counts of murder. I, I apologize. I went to charge Ryan. Couldn't talk to him. Didn't work. Um, but like I said, I don't think it's either of these guys. So I think the real arsonist will be revealed probably at the end of this desk. Like what happened with the homicide department. That's just my guess. <laughs> Oh, nice. Another flashback. Here we go. You're two blocks behind first and second. We have more buildings to clear. You know our orders, There's Sergeant. There's barely a building left standing or not on fire in your zone, Cole. Is your sector full of Japs? Questioning my command. The captain doesn't want anyone falling behind. I tell the captain we will join him when the job is done. <sighs> Just give us the word, Sarge. We'll take care of him. <laughs> he should be sectioned. That Jap lover's a fucking liability. We're here to kill Japs, not our own people. Starcross, son of a bitch. No one wants to serve under him. He's bad fucking luck. Can it? We have a job to do here. If I can live with it, you can too. Well, we survived barely our first day of the arson and desk. I did a terrible job with that last one because I got told off for picking the wrong guy, but I'm pretty sure that neither of those guys was the correct guy for what happened. I think that it doesn't matter whose name is on the service of the water heaters. I'm pretty sure that the suburban development company uh, the housing project has their own guys that they send out to in the middle of the night to service these water heaters, not service, but uh, sabotage them. And then, yeah, that's what happens. But we just need to somehow help Cole to get to the bottom of this. He'll get there eventually. I have every faith in him that he will figure that out as well. I mean, he's sort of on the right track now as it is. Though he didn't seem to express any doubt that it was either of these people. But perhaps that will come up when we go along. Because he will be reminded of the homicide cases that he was doing. And putting 
well, there's innocent people or sometimes innocent people behind bars and they didn't have anything to do with the the serial killings. Thoughts on this one? I really like Herschel Biggs. He's cool. He sticks up for Cole when no one else will. So good on him for doing that. Thank you, Mr. Biggs. You're a good man. I also don't mind doing the arson investigation. I think it's interesting and exciting. So I'm really keen to head forward with our demoted desk. I think it's awesome and it's really cool. So I'm happy here. I just hope that Cole does crack this case wide open and he gets that respect back after losing so much. Honestly, he's lost an incredible amount of respect and he's just lost so much. I mean, yes, it's his own doing. I understand that. But I, I would like to see a positive outcome for him, I'll be honest. Okay, guys, that's it for our first mission on the arson desk. I'll see you again next time when we investigate another house fire, probably. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.